All right, so I'm going to talk about the weekend here. In case you don't already know, I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm like very disappointed in that uh, in that the weekend is is going to be boycotting the Grammy Awards from now on. But it's for a good reason, though. Here's a good reason. As you can see right there just now, the New York Times says in a tweet, The Weekend to a snob in Grammy nominations says he will boycott the awards going forward. Quote, because of, it's, because of the secret committees, he said, the singer said, quote, I will no longer allow my label to submit my music to the Grammys. And, you know, I don't know who the secret committees are, but it is very disappointing that the weekend who spent like I don't know years like like maybe ten years or five years or even seven years or six if you want to keep close if you want to keep it close to that to make the greatest music of all time and i heard about the weekend once before i think it was back in 2014 that i heard one of his songs around maybe 2019 i heard one of his new songs and uh you know it seems to amaze me of how good he sings it really does and the fact that the secret committees, quote unquote, the secret committees, are not allowing the weekend to have a Grammy award seems so annoying. I mean, I agree with some of these comments. One says, I don't blame him. The fact that Justin Bieber's Yummy got nominated for the Grammy, but The Weeknd got zero nominations is fucking bonkers. I mean, come on. It is so hurtful that the secret committees, whoever they are, decided to say, oh, actually, you know what? We're not gonna like nominate put the weekend on a nominate list because because well he's black and he's not good enough and well I don't know if it actually has to do with his race but it does mainly have to do with his great talent and I think he is great some people disagree with me, like uh, these two, saying this is what happens when you spend $7 million of your own money on a nine year Super Bowl performance and realize no one even listens to your music unless nothing else is on, which you are wrong. On that one, George, mostly. I mean, come on, you yourself are a former singer, so you really shouldn't be talking because you don't have a single hit that you made for the last several years. If his music was good enough to be considered, it would have been. He had the worst performance at a Super Bowl of all time. He is trying to make it seem like it is his choice. In reality, he wouldn't have won ever anyway. Well, that's just rude. Not Ryan. That is just rude.
I don't see what the problem is with him choosing not to submit his album anymore because he believes they're cheating and that's it and that it's no longer a reliable measure of success in the music industry. Nothing entitled but about it. Y'all just want a reason to hate him. Exactly. People like these two are most likely the scumbags of the earth who just want a reason to hate the weekend, knowing that he sings amazing. And people like these two are just fucking jealous because they cannot, you know, actually go out of the house and do what he does best. Like, I think that's the reason. I wonder if having such a stupid persona slash band name influences the the way people consider your work. First of all, The Weeknd is not a super persona slash band name. And I want to consider The Weeknd a band name. Does he have a, a persona? Yes, that's his persona name. A band name? No. I thought The Weeknd was a band like a couple of years ago when I first heard about him. But I later dig deeper and found out that he doesn't have a band. It's just him. His own persona. Keep talking about Snub, but it's his fault he entered his album as R&B. And it was clearly pop because he thought he had a better chance at winning under RB, but it wasn't qualified for that category. Had he put it under pop, I'm sure he could have won. It was a good pop album. Hey Google, what is the weekend's genre? His genre is R&B soul. What's his name? Treasure U2. Uh, yeah, you're kind of wrong on that one. His genre is R&B. It was qualified for that category. His genre is R&B soul. So clearly, he should have won. I mean, the only person who makes pop music now is uh, Taylor Swift, the only person I know who switched from country to pop back in 2013. If The Weeknd officially switched to pop music, then he would have announced that on Twitter. But there was no announcement in the last five years that he has switched from R&B to pop. So therefore, you are clearly wrong and you should research your music uh, artist history. The music artists that you listen to, you should research that before you just come to a false conclusion such as he should have won on your pop. Come, like, come on. It was not a pop album. It's a R&B album. Even though you don't see it, see that, you really should have you know, checked Google before you Make a stupid tweet. Absolutely fair. Love or hate his music, his album, album not being, being nominated in any other category, qual- qualifies as a snub given its success among listeners and in the music industry. For note, he arguably had the, had the most successful album of 2020. Him not being nominated makes no sense from any standpoint, given the fact that he was clearly the perceived runaway from front runner for multiple awards beforehand. As someone from England looking at the comments, America really has deep issues with race painting. Everything has become about race rather than aptitude and talent. Here's an idea. How about giving awards to people that actually deserve them? Matra is the best man wins in my opinion all the people in the comments saying he's just whining 
don't know how the Grammys work. This is a new thing. Multiple black performers have been snubbed before due to these committees, and so they fired back. The way the awards and the foundation scoot towards white is wrong. Yeah, it, I agree with Miss C. Wilshire. It has always been this way. Like, I've been watching a lot of news in the past about this. Like, I have always heard about any type of awards show that snubs one of the black actors and actresses from their work all the time. Or mainly because due to the to the to the uh, more white people representation rather than black representation. And the fact that the weekend is is being snubbed out of his own nominations as of tonight because the Grammy Wars is starting tonight at eight on CBS. I am really, really appalled by all this. Fictional story, the Pharaoh won the album of the year in, in 2013 with Daft Punk. The Grammy says consistently sub snubbed the actual album slash artist of the year. Example, Cardi B being in the post humors, Malcolm Miller Abba. Swimming and Astro World, both of which are certified platinum. In the UK, the Canadian singer Summer Year, the weekend has racked up 20.1 million chart sales, including an eye watering 2.5 billion streams across all of his top 100 charting songs, currently totally at 51. I respect him for no longer allowing his label to submit two guarantees. Grammys. People getting mad. And I agree about this comment, by the way. I agree. People getting mad since he's saying he's entitled, he is. The weekend has been spouting out bangers for non stop for years. Exactly. I agree. Only to lose to a mediocre Ju Justin Bieber song. Yeah. Even though I like Justin Bieber's songs, the uh, the weekend does not deserve that at all. He has every right to be mad and entitled. He knows his worth. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad someone knows that who, uh, you know, how the weekend feels. To be honest, I think he's been a bit of a Karen about this. He won Grammys in the past. Now he's bitching about not being nominated. Singers way better than him have less Grammys or even no Grammys at all. That's just a stupid brain dead response from Arvarco 86. Jim and Jans 5 says, no, he's not. He's been rightfully angry about something he deserved. He's dropped one of the best albums last year and was snubbed for not being on it. It's clear he was the front runner in winning the awards. Some stupid people may say that it has to do with his Super Bowl performance, which uh, I disagree that his performance was amazing. Plus, we were in COVID era. So there was really not much of a performance for people to come together. And do you really think the weekend can dance very well? Like, really, the fact you, that you call it trash is just insulting. People like you, who keep calling his Super Bowl, Super Bowl performance trash, needs to get their eyes checked or their brain checked because you're kind of brain dead and blind. Plus, my disappointment is you're measurable. Because my disappointment of the um, of the Grammys is immeasurable.
because of the secret committees. I really think the secret committees should have given the weekend a chance because he has worked his ass off for the past couple of years, including recently, last year. Last year, he's been putting out bangers of every song of his EP during COVID season. We had a whole year of COVID and I don't think The weekend deserves to get his award snubbed by the secret committee. The secret committee should have at least accepted The weekend's submission for the Grammys. And the fact that they did not do that speaks volumes now. I am proud of The weekend's decision to boycott the Grammys. Because not only because he's black and that he's Canadian, he's also a great singer. And if some people cannot understand, cannot understand that, that's their loss. They're just too dumb enough to understand The weekend very well. But yeah, other than that, once again, my disappointment appointment of the Grammys is immersible. And I hope that next time the Grammys can fix their issue and for once nominate the weekend. But as of right now, for the foreseeable future, the weekend will not be nominated because he will continue to boycott the Grammys until the secret committees one day will beg him back to come back to the Grammys. And I am hoping that they do beg, beg for him back. I hope the secret committees at the Grammys beg on their knees, beg on their knees and their hands like this, begging and crying for him to come back because that's all that I could ever wish for, for the weekend. I really hope that he return. He returns to the Grammys in the near future. I really do. He's such a great singer and he doesn't deserve the treatment that he's getting right now. Hey, secret committees, if you're watching this, how about you fix yourselves? How about you? Fire some of the old goons that you kept in the secret committees for years and hire new ones.